All right, let's work on one of these where we need to figure out how much decay we can get after a certain amount of time based on a different amount of decay uh, in a different amount of time. So it's a little tricky, um, but it's not too bad. Remember that we're always dealing with an equation that looks like this. Some output value is equal to a starting value times a growth or decay factor after a certain amount of time. So in this case, we know that we started with 180 milligrams of the substance. We ended with 90 milligrams. We don't know the decay factor, so that's my unknown value. But I know that it took it 28 hours to decay that much. And this is a pretty common problem. Um, we know how long it took to decay from a certain amount to another amount, but we don't know what the decay factor is right here. So this is my big question mark. Um, and our first step is always going to be, you know, typically to find what this factor is, and that's going to tell us how much it's decaying um, on an hourly basis. Then we can use that to solve the rest of the problem. So let's do some algebra. Let's divide by 180. We're trying to get the B by itself. So 90 divided by 180, that's going to give me 1 half is equal to B raised to the 28th power. Now, to get the b by itself, I need to take the 28th root of b, or another way to think about that is you can just raise it to the 1 over 28 power, and that's going to turn this into b by itself. So I need to do the same thing on the left-hand side. So I need to take 1 half to the 1 over 28th power. So let's just use our calculator to do that. Remember, 1 over 28 as a power is the same thing as the 28th root. So that tells me that my B value is approximately points, oops, 0.9755. So it's decaying about, nine, it's decaying, um, about uh, 2.45% each hour. Um, in other words, we have 97.55% of our substance remaining after each hour. So we can go back over here and use that information. Now I have a little more complete, um, I have a little bit more complete information for my equation. So I know that it looks, should look something like this. I can extend that. And then this will be raised to the T power. In this case, um, I'm going to be looking for how long, how much I'll have after 51 hours. So I'm just going to replace this T with a 51. And of course, if I do that, just to be correct, I need to also replace it here. And from here, I just need to do some calculations. All right, so I'll just go into the calculator and let's do 180 times 0.9755 raised to the 51st power. And that should be good to go. Oops. There we go. So we should have about 50.8 milligrams left after 51 hours.